Hello my fellow gamers and Puggy Gaming and today we have a brand new game on the channel. This is the unfinished one. If you don't know what the unfinished one is, this is a game where it's like a first person sort of puzzle, maze sort of game where you're obviously running for, walking for a maze. But the only problem is you cannot see everything because it is white. And the only way to find a way through the maze is to shoot like balls of ink or paint and it will splay the corners or any objects that are in the way. Um, the only problem is if you do shoot too many balls of ink, paint, whatever you want to call it, it will turn everything black and then you won't be able to see where you're going. So it kind of, you don't want to shoot too, too much. So it's one of those really interesting games. So I just need to make sure. Um, yeah, I don't think we could do anything like that. So let's just get on with, uh, sorry, let's just get on with the game. Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished, along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished himself. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting, and so he chose the unfinished swan that had always been his mother's favorite. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. So he took his mother's silver paintbrush and followed the footprints into a little door he hadn't seen before. Uh, are we started? I think we have. We're jumping about. Oh, we press R2, log 2 to move around. Now we can see the corner. It gradually just paints a picture of where you're going. So that's the corner. Oh, down here it must be. Yeah. This is just. Played it like this just opens the game up. To... Oh, okay, that's different. And. He's actually done the hole of the banister. Right, uh, we're going down here. Uh, around this corner. Oh, let's just put that there so we know. Okay, um. Oh! The hell is it? Oh, this is the maze area. And this is just. Oh, it's a bar bench. And these must be trees. This is really hard trying to paint a picture of where you're going, but you don't. Oh, that's a fence line. This must be a pathway down. It's gotta be. Don't want to spray too much down. Don't want to spray. Ah! I think this is what we have to follow. There's a pond. And now we got some water. Oh my god, this is like... Have we ever gone around this way or something? I'm... This is puzzling. It... Oh, jump on the log, jump on the log, that's it. No, we can't go in the water. How 
the hell do we get over there? So I can see where I'm going. And that must be going to the other side of the pond. Aha! <laughs> Easy when you know how. <laughs> On that. Now let's go across here. Okay. This is really magic charm in this little game, it really is. Be at a staircase, so going up. Oh, that was a bit surprising. Aha, gate going in, and one, two, three. What the hell is that? The trigger buttons to fr okay, this way. Do we have? I'm a bit puzzled, really, am I? Be a way in somewhere. Ah, I didn't expect that to be there. <laughs> I've obviously got to go in this way. Is a garden area or something? It's a crate, a wall. A vase, a garden ornament. <laughs> Yeah, the sink or they get eaten by fishes. <laughs> How do we get through? Right, don't spray too much around. Don't spray too much around. Right, we can see this. We must have to get through here somewhere.
Okay, I'm a bit puzzled by this. Really am. On the crate or something? Ah! Didn't expect a big blob right in front of me. <laughs> no. Throw that there. Please, someone tell me what I'm doing wrong because I'm a little bit stuck. I don't want to throw too much more ring round here. Looks like there's a ledge up here or something. Throwing that ledge up there. All the shoulder buttons basically throw the paint. Surely don't we show shit. No, we do. Trying to work out where the hell I'm meant to go. That's the only thing I know. You see the gate. You're in the garden. You've got this fountain thing here. Oops, I probably wasn't meant to do that. <laughs> Well, that didn't go so well. Um, I'm out of ideas. What the fuck was that? Better not throw too much more down here. Hmm. I don't mind puzzle games, they're always fun, but when they get to the point where it's re supposedly really easy, and it's supposedly like dead straightforward how to do it, I always seem to get a little bit on the stuck side. Every single time I play one of these games and I've just freaking found the pathway. Oh my god, how much of a bloody idiot am I? I could not see it for the love of no money. Oh my bloody god! Across here. This point. Oh crap. I hate when it's because I can't see a thing. Oh, here we go. I think that's the basis of it. We have to follow the, fi the footprints. Like so. Ah, 
And there was a freaking ledge for me to come down on. <laughs> That's not a swan, that's a goose. No, no. That's not a swan, that's a um, cockerel. Why did I say it was a goose then? Right, uh, it's not that way. Not that way. Oh, up the stairs. I think we just have to follow anything we can see, we just have to go in that direction. Still love this style of this game, it's just absolutely amazing. So happy uh, when this game came out on PlayStation Plus, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to play it. Took a month to actually get round to it, due to all the amount of games that I've actually got. What the hell is this? It's um something. <laughs> Not a clue. Right. Now we're in the garden area. You think you're going one way and then you go in a completely other another direction. Must be a lion or something. Or something holding that. Um Aha, more more footprints. Holy cow! That is a lot of income throwing down. Thought that was him. Um, I'll drop then. <laughs> Those games are always fun like this. What the hell? Is that the swan we're meant to be chasing? And there we are, I think that is the first segment of the game. I think on that note, we're gonna end it here. Most likely will we'll show more of this game in time. So if you did like this and do wanna see more of this really intriguing and stunning looking game, even though it's just dead minimalistic and stuff, please make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, please subscribe because every single like, comment, and subscription helps my channel so, so much. And I'll see you next time.